Okay, so if you saw my last video, you'll notice that I it looked like the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. Um, its 1080p video footage was gash. Um, there's no other way to describe it. It's like, this is not 1080p. So I went out and, and checked all the settings, apart from two, which I really wanted to check, uh, annoyingly. Um, and what it is, it's the 120 frames a second, which is the bullshit. Um, so GoPro is pulling her leg here, it's not giving us the resolution that it's saying it is whenever it's at the faster frames a second. And is this isn't a case of, oh, it's the wrong type of memory card, because I use the same memory card in both the GoPro Hero 4 and the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition, swapped them around, same results. Um, and But here, I'll, I'll show you exactly what it is. So I'm, I'm shooting, uh, I'm going to export this video at 720p, and you can see exactly what it is. So at the... There's two settings where the GoPro can do 120 frames a second. That's at 720p and 1080p. Here I've got uh, two of the videos. One set at 60 frames a second and the other one 120 frames a second. This is at both at 720p. And if we go over to the 720p, which is 60 frames a second, the important thing to look at here, or the, the way to judge this, is look at this line in the background. It's, it's a little bit blocky. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give it that. It's a little bit blocky. On the 120 frames a second, it's much more blocky. There's definitely been a loss of resolution. And it's not just the 720. So if you go to the 1080p, oh my god, th this is this is one which is actually really quite worrying. So on the 1080p, 60 frames a second, the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition can do this, and so can the GoPro Hero 4 uh, easily. And the memory card, not a problem with this. And this is it, not even its Pro Tune settings. I later on did Pro Tune at 4K, uh, 30 frames a second in Pro Tune settings, and the memory cards is not a memory card thing here. But if we look at the resolution here, 60 frames a second, we would call that line fairly smooth. Okay, maybe there's a bit of a high bit of sharpening going on there, but that's about it. Go over to the 120 frames a second and look at that. You can individually see the lines making that up. And this isn't the case of like the lenses were moving or the camera's moving. The camera was still. And that is proper something that is not quite right there. Um, it's, it's not just that line, it's the lines all over there as well. So the 1080p, the 720p, when it's in its 120 frames a second, yes you are getting 120 frames a second and yes whenever you uh, export that file onto your computer or download it on computer it will make a 720 and a 1080p, uh, 1080 size frame but the resolution isn't that. They are, they're faking it in somehow. I, I don't know, so, so any of the other, because I was looking at all on YouTube going, wait a minute, all these other tests, it looks sharper, it looks better, what am I missing here? All those other tests have been at 24, 25, 30 frames a second. If you're buying the GoPro Hero 4 because it can do 120 frames a second at full HD, you're not getting full HD. You're getting that size of a frame, but you're not getting that size of resolution. So check that out for yourself. Anything above 60 frames a second, it's, it's bullshit really, bullshit. GoPro Hero 4 at 720p at 60 frames a second, no Pro Tune. GoPro Hero 4 at 720p at 120 frames a second. TP 60 frames a second, GoPro Hero 3 on the bottom, Hero 4 on the top should be exactly the same video. So we're looking for details in the background. So that's 60, 60 frames a second at 1080. I'm going to change it now to 120. 1080p wide, 120 frames a second.